Man, I'll tell you, this is pretty emotional tonight. I watch all these videos and it just blows me away. And I gotta tell you one thing. I look out in this crowd and I see some of the biggest stars in history. I'm looking over, it's looking at Robert Yates, one of the best engine builders in the world. I look at Ricky Rudd over there, Jack Roush. I look at all these guys, Michael Walter, big winner at Daytona, Daryl, everybody. It's something. I, I, I'm humbled that I've made it here. I'm humbled that I'm standing up here. And I just uh, can't thank everybody enough for selecting me to be in the Hall of Fame. I really can't. And my Uncle Gary's here from St. Louis. Gary, I can't thank you enough because I used to work at the vacuum cleaner store. And Gary ran the vacuum cleaner store. And I wanted to go down to Springfield, Missouri to run a race so bad with my buddy Larry Phillips one time, I couldn't see straight. And man, he said, you got to stay late and I need you to deliver some materials to this place down the road. I'm going, I can't do that, man. There's no way I got to get to Springfield, Missouri to race. He said, no, you're going to do that or else I'm going to fire you. I'm like, what? I said, you asked for it. He loaded a 55 gallon drum up in the back of this step van. And I come out of that vacuum cleaner store running 300 mile an hour and I drove a I drove 100 mile an hour over to Anheuser-Busch to drop that thing off. I got there, I slammed that baby in reverse, and I backed up, and I said, here, sign for this. And the guy says, sign for what? I said, that drum. He said, there's no drum back there. <laughs> I forgot to tie that drum down. And that drum flew out of the back of that car, and it landed on Interstate 70. And when I was turning around going back, I said, oh, man, my bus could get fired. I walked in there, and Monday morning, Gary says, you're fired. It's like Donald Trump, you're fired. I said, thank you. <laughs> and my career started. This is a privilege to race in NASCAR. You don't have to do it. We're not making you do it. It's a privilege to race in NASCAR. And this has been a blessing for me to be able to be in this sport and do what I've done. And I really, really appreciate it. And I just hope that all the young drivers and the current drivers respect NASCAR as much as I respect it and go out there and and say the good things about NASCAR and help build this sport. Because I'm telling you what, with this brand new generation six car coming up next year, I think this sport's gonna take off climbing. I think that team's did an incredible job. And with that said, thank you very, very much for putting me in the Hall of Fame.